talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, my dad. Walk on. Man, today we got a special guest, man. He don't need no introduction, man. This man here, hey, man. This boy, hey, he touched down and calls hell, man. UGK. Oh, yeah, this boy, hey, man, Trill. Huh. Mm hmm. Yeah, for life. No, UGK by. for life, mm -hmm. man. He's a Leo, is in the building. Tell! Hey, man. So, <laughs> so man, um, man, you on that dang YouTube still. That's me. You've been pushing, man. What keeps you going far as uh, motivated to keep going on that on that platform? Well, seeing I, I'm able to inspire, nigga, I'm trying to give me some motherfucking money. <laughs> he started off right, didn't he? <laughs> that, that little, boom. It goes hand in hand. Huh. He inspire, but yet he got to pay his bills. No, I'm talking definitely, about. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it was you had, uh, was it Pimp C's wife on there? Nah, uh, his oh, baby uh, mama, his second baby mama, his baby mama, Miss, okay, Miss Angie. Was that her first time just speaking out? Yeah, she really don't do that type of stuff, but mm. but we were real close, and I asked her to do it, man, and she came through. I gotta get her to come back because somehow uh the the the, the audio was low, okay, but people say they heard it, man. Yeah, yeah, man. So and, and that's important, you know what I mean? Um, to stay connected to the people that really was like m most people, you know, it's, it's cool. It's a, it's a thing to say I'm cool with the pimp and all that. And it, it but it's different when you connecting really the dots and dealing with the people that really uh, meant something to pimp. Right. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I never did get disconnected because we had such a family structure and everybody was always in the twine having gatherings, this and that, this and that. Sometimes we have, the majority of the family on the road with us in the hotel. So after we do a show, we'll come back and mama cook big gumbo and we have kids, baby mamas, friends, just, just everybody. So it would always like a, a family structure. Wow. So do you, do, I mean, when you were, when you were dealing with everything, uh, like you was dealing with it, you know, um, those moments, those times, were there ever moments where you and Pimp were just, it was just you and him one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, yeah, plenty of times. Uh, riding to and from Houston, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just just different trips. And we always connected on some on some grown man business. It's always, it always was about taking care of our kids and, and, and creating opportunities for others. It never was just a uh, frivolous conversation. Sometimes we would, you know, chop it up and just be joking and poking fun. But a lot of times it was always about future plans and, and creating opportunities. Wow, man. You know, like I said, man, to, to be, be them been in a relationship with him and bun like that, man. I wasn't in no relationship with them niggas. No. <laughs> yeah, you were. Yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> but to be in a relationship with both of those guys and understanding, know, knowing how they was moving and dealing with them during that time, uh, What's, what's some of the things that you remember about their relationship for us with one another for us? I, I loved it because I know, you know what I'm saying, they came from the mud together, and I always knew never to get, you know what I'm saying, too far on one side about opinions or what they had going on. So if they ever was arguing or, or whatever, disagreeing about stuff, man, man, whatever, you know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. brothers. So, you know, the great the greatest thing is just understanding the both of them how different they were and, and when they were in the mood to, to, to be approached or talked, it, it just took a lot of observation and, and placing yourself in the situation of being sought after. You know, some people don't be considerate and compassionate about the other person. They just see a star. So the first thing they think, Ooh, a star and they run up, you know what I mean? But that's another human being. That's another trill ass nigga from Port Arthur. You don't just run up on niggas. You know what I mean? You give a niggas they space, you be heard before you are seen. You did, because if I'm turning around talking to you and then you, hey, what's up? And I turn around and you right there, nigga, I'm, but shit, I'm clutching. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, I don't, hey, what, what's up, nigga? <laughs> Say, man. <laughs> Might get the wrong reaction. Man, um, so, you know, the the Port Arthur, uh, how far is Port Arthur from uh, Houston? Uh, 90 miles. 90 miles. Mm -hmm. So that's a good drive for you About and him to an have a conversation, a right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, to and from. Uh, just going to do different things like that uh, that Source Magazine Texas uh, cover. Mm -hmm. 
like we we had left the hotel and and went and did that and was at the ranch and then we left from there and went to uh Beaumont to his uh parole office then we left from there and went to PA so we was always doing different things like that yeah yeah just just going and taking care of business yeah taking care of business yeah so w- the love in Houston how was it when you guys would go up to Houston and visit and go different places it's a different world <laughs> Cause y'all, that's the country right where yeah, y'all where at. we come from. that's right yeah 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 Port Arthur is Port Arthur man they don't give a damn if you if you shit Jay-Z in that hole them niggas still gonna treat you funky you know what I mean mm-hmm. even though Pimp was one of one in that thing with two Bentleys and a mini matches and shit them niggas still was trying to act like these niggas he owed them something or something you yeah. know what I mean so when we got to Houston it was just a a different time a different place we like hey shit like we was in the fucking ghetto Hollywood you know what I mean shutting the malls down and shit like that Really? Yeah. What about same thing in Odessa? You were saying that earlier. Mm, Odessa is a different. Shout out to Odessa. Yeah. Odessa, man. <laughs> he missed Pill his. C. He missed his plane. Odessa. Odessa was mad in a motherfucker. Boy, Odessa damn near jumped on our funk ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, <laughs> they was mad. <laughs> yeah, we in motherfucker old school. I don't know who provided that shit. Nigga, we in the old school limo and shit selling CDs out the motherfucking west. <laughs> <laughs> they waiting on Pimp. We already know he didn't miss the flight, but shit, what the fuck? I'm finna get out there. Hey, sorry, he missed the flight. Fuck y'all, nigga. He mm-hmm. be coming, he coming. Be down. Hey, nigga, get these city. <laughs> <laughs> so what about the... Uh... <laughs> then we went perform, you know what I mean? We perform hard in the bitch. And her and got out that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about, uh, like, uh, when you look at uh, Bun was on, I think, Beehive, and he was like... Uh, he was saying that him and uh, Jay Z, uh, yeah, Jay Z and them, they did when they did that uh, uh, big pimping uh, video that they was uh, pimp wasn't even on there, man. They said they had pimp, <laughs> just like you just explained. That's what made me think <laughs> pimp. Uh, uh, and I remember too, sure saying he was with pimp too during that time and how they had to drive down to yeah. I think it was Miami. I'm yeah. like, man, mm-hmm. pimp was something different, man. He yeah, didn't he man. didn't play no games. He didn't he didn't bar none. You know it what was, I'm saying? It was his way. You know what I mean? He he started to realize, you know what I'm saying, his worth, and he moved how he moved. It, it was his way, and a lot of people used to be disgruntled at, you know what I mean? He wasn't there on time, and they might be talking shit before he get there. Man, that nigga this and that, this and that, this and that. But as soon as he come up and crack a joke, everybody didn't change. They didn't <laughs> forgot he two hours late, and they on his motherfucking nuts, and he just entertaining their ass. <laughs> A gift. Two right? hours late. A gift. <laughs> <laughs> and been texting me and hitting me all the while. Nigga, I'm at the airport with you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, man. sitting on a bunch of uh, behind the scenes footage from the road or whatever. And uh, I'm going to start, you know what I mean, clipping that up a bit more. Uh, hopefully, we do more trill stories and uh, shit. Honestly, whatever it worked, because it seemed like arguing with niggas is the shit that work right now. That's real. So I'm looking for me a motherfucking argument. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really the, the fuck, truth, bro. A motherfucking bro. fresh spit boxing and lip wrapping with some nigga. <laughs> and this verbal, verbal warfare is what's going down, yeah, huh? Yeah. I don't like this shit, though. But that's what they do on yeah. there. But sometimes these verbal warfare gets physical after a while. It can. It because, can. you know, some people... You say something, but I can't combat what you say, and I'm so mad. I'm going to take it physical because I'm going to get you back because you made me look terrible. Honestly, um, um, that's a very immature mind. But that's how they do. That, there are plenty of people out there, and there's plenty of people who lost their lives because of it. But, you know, niggas from the, you know, the streets for real who know the consequences, man, I don't give a fuck what a nigga say out of his mouth. To me, it's just like, hey, sticks and stones, but words will never hurt me. So I be, sometimes I be mad when certain niggas don't fuck around and fire back at a nigga, you know what I mean? But goddamn, nigga, you know what you're doing, nigga, playing mm-hmm. with that algorithm, you know what I mm-hmm, mean? Mm-hmm. Is there anything, I know you say you're going to keep pushing, you is there anything else that you have planned? I know you have back behind the scene um, footage that you're going to be releasing. Is there anything else you have planned for next year? Uh, dropping more music, you know what I mean? Uh, just more interviews and different content of that nature. Maybe dropping more often? Well, I've been doing a record a month, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty much testing how the how the audience is, is engaging with the record. So as that pick up and build momentum, Mm-hmm. I'll probably give them more. But at this point, 
I'm just gauging it the way it's going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see your um, comedic personality. Huh? <laughs> and when you talk about Pimp and how he always used to um, be telling jokes and stuff, I can imagine both of y'all together. How many laughs? Or weren't you like that back then? I've always been like that. Uh, he and I, we come from that era where uh, cracking jokes and, and playing a dozen, that's just something we did. You know what I mean? So when we got together, man, it was just, he couldn't even get what he was saying out sometime. And it'd <laughs> be just so damn humorous because you know you're going to say some crazy ass, outlandish ass shit. So yeah, we just always vibed like that. Is everybody was everybody else in the camp like that, or it was just y'all? Man, if you seen our camp, you think they all need to be in the nut house. You know what I mean? <laughs> everybody, everybody laughing, joking, and clowning, having a good time. You know what I mean? Who was the biggest comedian out of all y'all? Um, uh, I would have to say Pimp. Really? Yeah. And who was a serious guy? Because you always had one who never really laughed. Oh shit! Who could be Bumby? Nah. <laughs> Would he laugh a lot? Man, when he when he chilling, yeah, that nigga be joking and clowning like a motherfucker. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. He look what he did me one day. We was uh we was shooting something for BT out at uh at Mama House. And uh they came and gave me my own little segment and, and he was pulling off, him and his wife pulling off an escalade. And I'm talking on some serious content, cameras rolling and everything. And they're going to pull up to my that bitch line. <laughs> <laughs> Live. You know what I mean? Wow. Wow. <laughs> they couldn't even use that shit. <laughs> Man, so what do you think uh, What do you think the next move is in music? Who, who's the next to go, man? Uh, out of Texas or just... Uh, in general, who you who you liking? I know you're a music connoisseur or whatever that may be. Oh, man. Uh, who, who could be next to go? Yeah, that's a good question for you. And it, you supposed it, it to really, know because you be really on that is. on that internet, that YouTube, it, it and you really watching. Is. It really it's it's a lot of youngsters, man, that's, that's making a lot of noise and and got movements. Uh I see the one youngster, uh Hot Boy West. Hot Boy West out of Waco. Yeah, out of the coat. You know what I mean? Cut it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He making some noise and connected with Gucci Man and them, so I'm thinking he's gonna make a huge impact. You've been liking the show though, like 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 to see us come uh from where me and you was at, even when we was here, it grew, right? In six months, man, you didn't uh, leaps and bounds. Uh, I've seen so much entertainment that it's, it's, a, it's a frequent place I visit to go see what's happening. Really? You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 man, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but I like that about you, though, man. Yeah. I, I love your channel because you're always trying to figure it out, you know, far yeah. as far as, okay, I'm going to do this, or I'm going to get this on, or we going this way with it. And I think that's what you got to do. You got to be, re you got to recreate, reinvent in order to be successful, right? Exactly, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, so can we, are you going to start uh, taking live guests or anytime soon? Uh, A little later. Uh, I'm, I'm figuring all that out. I've seen everybody started doing the side-by-side -side videos and different things like that. I see that. I've yeah. never done it. I've never actually went to, we went live on our YouTube one time. Um, we never just went live. So you upload? I upload everything. Wow, wow. But that's the reason I, I, I did it for, like that for a reason. Uh -huh. Because Boss Talk uh, Podcast 101 Primetime. Uh -oh. You can look it up. It's already out there. Okay. Got a, it's got a huge following already and everything. Wow, yeah, I'm check that I, I, I'm, out. I'm, I'm different, bro. I, th we are different. And I think that's what's kind of catching people off guard the most. Yeah, yeah, you came in on some... On some pro type shit, you didn't you didn't come in like no amateur. You came in and like I, a pro. I, and I promise you, I was freestyling a lot of it. But at the end of the day, some I'm a hustler. Yeah. So if I find a way to hustle, I'm a, I'm gonna take it there. So I'm moving in different strategic ways to say, okay, if I do this, this gonna happen. I'm gonna try this. Okay, this gonna happen. What that nigga say over there? Oh, they doing that, and we just I see, I'm treating it like I the see. streets, man. Hey, it's going down, man. Man, yeah. shout out, to, man. We done had so many different people. You seen all these people, including man. yourself, that done been on here four hundred and almost eighty some episodes, man. Wow, wow, yeah, we did that by what uh, six months ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. man. And, and it's crazy because I, like I said, the work ethic, like like today, like we do two or three, we we just don't stop and yeah. i think that's what make us different from everybody else. that's real that's what's real man yeah i do something called the trio cast shout out to the whole trio cast shout man. out to trio cast for man. real so, Come so on, break man. that down for me 
Trill Cass is uh, some individuals that always showed up and supported on my lives, and they just continuously come back, back to back. That you know got me to the monetization stage, Dope. and still to this day, they're there every live. So we're such a family that we know when new people coming in, they identify them. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And if people talking sideways, they identify them and, and damn near eliminate them. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah, so that's the trigger case. Man, I got to do something about them Boss Talk 101 something. I got to name these people, man. It's going to happen. They, yeah, yeah, happen. yeah. Boss Talk 101 got a name. I don't know what we're going to do. It's going to be some throat. Yeah, yeah. They actually gave me the name. Like, I was I was doing something. Because they go by Trill Gang, too. But they was the Trill cast. Because they always was there. And I said, it ain't a podcast. So, this the Trill cast. Dope, man. Yeah. Dope, man. And we talk about some of everything, man. What's your what, what what would you think would be the thing to do? To, let's let's see what'll break the mold in twenty twenty two, man. Cause I get I, I've been trying to figure out a way to give away. You know, I'm in a clothing store, so I'm give away hats and do different things for different things that different people do during the. And I know you do clothes too, so yeah. To, to what what do you think? How how could we be strategic in in keeping the people intrigued? Do you do the polls? Uh, now nah, I've been seeing you doing it lately. <laughs> I'm just doing. Listen, I'm trying it out, man. It be it be thousands of people coming. This was crazy. I'm gonna link you up with the homie. Uh, I've been involved in some polls. Really? Shout out to the homie Texas Prison Stories. Okay. He is a fan of Blind Fury. You remember the artist? From yeah, yeah. Come yeah. on, man. That boy was dope when he was doing his thing. Yeah. So he do some song battling, and so my partner was like, "Man, once you get on there, you know what I mean." I'm like, "Man, I'm already boom, boom, boom." But hey, it's some good exposure. So they threw my songs on there, and I just been winning on all the polls and whatnot. So currently, I'm in the poll. If y'all want to go over there and vote, you know what I mean. They playing one of my songs, but I want to link you For and real? him up because he loved his Texas shit. Does he? Oh yeah. man, hey man, we bringing it right. Yeah, man, yeah, I'm man. glad. Man, I'm hey, me and you met. I never would have thought we met here years ago in this parking lot. Huh. I never would have thought that we'd be doing this right now that day when I met you. I'm being wow. real. I, I really didn't know what to think because you don't know what tomorrow brings. Exactly. But Talking we, like pimping. <laughs> but you, you're a hustler, though. When a hustler meets a hustler, we need to do an episode like that and, and do it live with each other and bring each other on. When I'm a hustler it. meets a hustler. I'm with it. I'm you see what it. I'm saying? And I'm then just it. talk back and forth between platforms. Yeah, it's content, man. It's, you know, whatever whatever that, that represents you as content, that's what it's hitting for. You yeah, I, mean? I, I think that's right, man. I, I I really do, man. So what about all these people, man, that, like I said, a lot of them use the Pimp C, uh, the cadence, the beats, the remaking the songs. I know so much about certain people that are saying, we're getting ready to do it again, but I'm trying to figure out a way to make it, uh, to give it essence. Yeah. Uh, I look at it like imitation is the, the, the best form of flattery, but at the same time, when people start doing their research, they really see who really a part of that branch. Yeah. So I don't never like attack or, or worry because if they do they due diligence, they're going to find the trio niggas that's a part of that branch. And the niggas that say like, oh, he's he trying to rap like this. Nigga, I'm from the same gumbo pot. I'm from Port Arthur, Texas. We from the same era, know the same people. So when I do his draw, I'm I'm, I'm doing it and you knowing it. But if I'm doing me, you're going to hear that tail. You're going to hear that, uh-huh, no, I'm saying, no, I'm talking about, let's go. You're going to hear that type yeah, of yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. That ain't no mimic of nobody. That's just me. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And, that but, country and you rap was tunes, doing that way back then, too. Yeah, Even I mean, on the on the CD that I got from you, I'm like, this dude, you could tell he from over there. And yeah. this was, you got to realize how close this was to when he had passed. Yeah, man. So it wouldn't have been like you was doing anything. It, you was just being you. You yeah. was explaining to me uh, who you were and the branch off of it. Mm -hmm. That's what you was explaining to me. I remember that. You know what I mean? And 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 that was that was a dope. I'm like, dang, man. You know, because at that point, you're trying to grab a piece of him any way you can. And and he would have told me, like, in the studio, he, shit, why would he not say Nigga, stop trying to sound like me if I was. Yeah. But I never was. So when I did my section, I, I, I was like a kid at one time because sometimes he was telling different artists, hey, do this, do that, do that, do him. And I'm thinking like, damn, why he ain't telling me nothing? You know what I mean? And so he told me like, nigga, you can rap, nigga. I don't tell Bun B about what he doing, you know what I mean? So I felt like, hey, that was a damn compliment. Yeah, yeah. Well, and and. I know uh, Boosie had told a story one time about him rapping, and he was like, he'll go take it to Pimp. Pimp be like, nah, go back, that ain't it. He yeah. would always, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't he wasn't easy on you. Yeah, he he never did that to me, and I, I seen him do it to a few people. 
So I, I wanted it because I thought maybe that was him showing attention in a certain way. But he like, nigga, you could rap. I ain't got to tell you nothing. You know what I mean? Wow, that's and once, dope. And once he told me that, man, I just lean into who I am and do what I do. Did you ever get a chance to uh, meet Boosie and them during that time? I met Boosie, Boosie and uh, Webb and them? I met them multiple times. Okay, so they, they, they knew you and Pimp and them was running in the same circle. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Individuals was having their own situations going on and distracted. Uh, when they think about it, yeah, they, they know, but... We never really had no real deep talks. You know yeah. what I mean? It was always surface, kicking it, this and that, this and that. Nothing really. And I would I would think that because when you think about it, I would really, uh, when you, like if me and my team come into a place, mm -hmm. that's me and my team. Yeah. And they team is there. Right. But we still know. Right. I'm really with Pimp right here. Right. So it's going to make it a, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's going to make a, a schism. It's going to make a split right there. I remember uh, we was doing a show uh, with Webby, and uh, we was we was in Dallas, and we was at one of them coliseums, and when Webby came in, he he blowing big. He in the damn, uh, what it is, like a civic center type area, and he blowing in that hole. You know what I mean? This ain't Colorado or Cali, and the damn police like, hey, man, somebody, they asking other people to tell Webby to put it out. They won't go up to him themselves. So they went and told Pimp, hey, man, can you tell Savage to put that weed out? Pimp like, nigga, you go tell Savage, nigga. <laughs> Asking me to go ask the nigga to put oh, it out. Oh, man, so that was, and that was the time when the Savage life was going down. Oh, man, nigga, it is shirt Ooh. off, man. Was shit. he the same Webby or did he change or is it the, uh, we just didn't see that side of him because he wasn't more in the public eye during that time or what What was that Webby compared to the Webby we deal with today? Uh, every time I seen him, he was always in, in in that mode. Okay. I caught him a couple of times and we were able to have a good conversation, just me and him at the hotel before going to a show and uh, we were able to have a real conversation. But other than those couple of times, uh, he always was in that mode. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah. Man. Cool dude, man. Just got his way of doing things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Derek, his brother. Oh, yeah. So what? I mean, and I ain't going to stay on this too long, but uh, and, and you probably you don't have to answer it. Or you can. You can re, you can shy away from it. But uh, Boosie being the news a lot about uh, uh, him, and, him and Nas X went back and forth. Who? Him and Nas X, the little boy that was pregnant. A little boy that was pregnant. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it was a boy that was pregnant. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they, I don't know what happened. I just seen it. He had a miscarriage. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if he. Had... <laughs> I'm just saying. And 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 he was beefing. A pregnant boy was beefing. I know it sounds crazy with Boosie. With bad ass. Yeah. So and a and pregnant so they... boy was beefing with bad ass. Exactly. <laughs> That's a hell of a combination. So, so all I'm saying is when it happened, you know, uh, Boosie voiced his opinion quite strong. And, and the media went with it, man. And they was like, man, they was like, man, he was real. Uh, he didn't have to be that harsh or whatever. But do you, how do you look at things when they go down like that on the Internet? We have to realize that we dinosaurs from a different day. We okay. from, I got a new song called Trio Era. It's an era in time we come from, and we had those type of morals and ethics. So in this 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 new era, it's almost like anything goes. So if you're gonna be you know vocal about it, you should expect that you're gonna have a a whole group of people that's gonna gonna go against you. But you got to be like Beyonce with the beehive. Let the beehive attack the motherfuckers. You know what I mean? I got so, it. Yeah, let, let the trio of people that support you attack the motherfuckers that's in the comments talking this and that, this and that. Fuck with the media talking about because you already know who that shit ran by. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So For sure. We, we, we the minority on that real trio shit. We the minority. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah, so how do you... I asked you another question because you... you been in Dallas a lot. You hear, you you know. Um, I ain't never nowhere, but I'm always everywhere. Know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you here today. Uh, <laughs> yeah, shit, how do you feel the music? Occasion. How do you feel the music is going? Far as you know, uh, do you feel like uh, the music is up, down? You know, uh, Mo three passed away. Uh, when Mo three passed away, it was uh it was after that. You know, it, it what did the music? Did it did it kind of filter down, or do we feel like it's firing up, or? I feel that 
the 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 sacrifice is is way greater than the reward. Okay. Um, these boys jamming, you know what I mean. These boys getting a look that a lot of places ain't ain't gotten a long time. But it's like what comes with that. So you got the the, the negativity and the creativity running parallel, and why that race is running, you're losing people. So it's unfortunate, but that popularity of the drama and the negativity, you know what I mean, that's what attracted people. But I wish it was a, a different way for our people and our culture. Why do we have to jump off the cliff and die to be noticed? You know what I mean? Why we can't go off into the, the sunset like the, the, the Willie Nelsons and all these other people and enjoy our lengthy career? Why our career has got to be short-lived? You know what I mean? And, and niggas become mortals and legends because he just wanted to be. Crazy. Yeah, it's, it, I agree with that 100%. Sad, I, man. I, I don't know, you know, is hip-hop a place where, you know, with Young Dolph dying, oh, um, Young Dolph gets killed, uh, different people, uh, demise come early here. Uh, there are so many different tragic things from the Mo3 to Young Dolph to Pop Smokes to all these things, that, that young greatness down there and that kid got killed in New Orleans. All these people that just go through all these different channels when you're in this music. Do, what do, was it, What is that? That's the, that's the messages that's being perpetuated by the big media companies. It's almost like the conditioning when we were looking at the, the, the South Centrals and the, uh, what that was, Colors. Remember you know. Colors and South Central. Those yeah, yeah. banging uh, menace to society. Menace to society. So the, the weaker minded individuals are being impressed by that and, and they're becoming that. And if the lyrics are telling them, is, is it, be honest with you, man, I kind of feel like the shit is just demonic. Mm. And a lot of demons running around and, and shit happening, man. So, Stay prayed up and, uh, man, do your best. But this whole music thing, dog, it look like it's going to hell in a handbasket. Doesn't you know it? It, looks, Full it speed. looks crazy, man. Um, I don't, I don't really know how to how to snatch our uh, youngsters out of the fire one by that, one. That I'm trying, but I'm just saying did, with 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 some positive input to the waves to where we we. We these are verbal warfare. They're verbal conditioning to com help our youth. There's so many different things that's happening behind these microphones. Yes, with the children on knees all day long. Yeah, this they not nowhere but here. They don't even watch TV no more. No, they watch these, and if they're gonna look at something, this is where it's gonna happen at. Yeah, and so we have to inject something. To help our youth, man, and that's why I, that's why I do this here. To be honest with you, prayer. Cause you have to, right? Proud How do you get in their face if you if you're not here? Cause used to you catch him down the street. You say the young boy, hey boy, I know your daddy. You better go sit down. I know your mama. That's how you called him. You can't catch him outside no more. What about also uh, us rewarding the ones that's doing well? Man, what you talking? Let me let me st let me let me pop my whatever for a minute. Pop you, this shit. Nigga, let me let me let me pop mine for a second because I'm gonna tell you something, man. Uh, I sent this to my brother, man. Shout out to uh, Shamaria Faith Smith. That's my daughter, man. And, and when you see something like that, bro, and, and and you know she in the eleventh grade. I remember when I was in the eleventh grade. Yeah, man. Ain't no way in hell you're <laughs> a scholar. Do you see that? Yeah, man. Hundreds. I, all across. I mean, the whole year ain't nothing under ninety. Man. And so I got to show this to a camera, man. I hope it'll, it'll zoom in on that That's thing. That's too true. And keep that, up that, the good work. Do you see that, though? Yeah, man. I mean, I, and she was like, Dad, I didn't make under 95 on my semester. Wow. Under yeah. ninety five, and these are all gifted classes. So Salute. this Salute. ain't this ain't no this ain't no these are all the hard classes. This ain't the the shit that, I was. These in. are one the nigga run from. Pimp. Yeah, <laughs> I was running from these, and, and I know she got it from me. Her mama don't want to admit it. Some kind of way God worked it out. She got it from you. Some kind of way God worked it out. You know okay, what I'm talking about. Okay. I don't know. You know the mama. Yeah, she pretty sharp, but yeah. the daddy is a whip. Uh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> hey, my kids, shit, I, they be. But I ain't gonna me. sit here and lie and say I made these kind of grades because this is. I ain't even know you could make them kind of grades, bro. She ain't got nothing under ninety five, man. Damn, I thought sixty five was hot. No, let me. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Shamari Face Smith, man. Yeah, uh, I, I just, I just want to take the time right now to say. Daddy is very proud of you. Amen. Um ain't no way that ain't no way that uh hey, ain't no way, ain't no way. God it gotta be it got to be a God. Already, man. Cause I was uh, the worst child, man. You know? Huh. Smart <laughs> queen. 
Kyle. Yeah. So, man. Uh, so when you when you think about, okay, um, if you look at all of the different kids that 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 you've seen. How do we get to them, bro? How do we? I, I'm talk, I, I know I was talking about my daughter, but how do we get to these youngsters, man? And these, you got a lot of single parent homes. You were just talking about one. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, think about it. When 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 Pimp passed away, the the young lady that you talked, how old was her kid? How old was her daughter? Um, she probably was about mm, man, probably about. Let me see. That was what fourteen years ago. She about twenty some. Probably about five, six. Five or six years old. Yeah. You see what I'm saying, and, and and she had to grow up in in that whole you know yeah that, that dysfunctionality man yeah now and there's a lot more you look at Mo 3's kids they about to grow up the same way wow man. so her ministry really could help them if 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 she was able to pull through and be like I can tell them I ha I made it right and that's how we got to do it we you see what I'm saying. We got to reach back and, and that's my that's been my whole thing my whole career is always reaching back. I remember when uh pimp used to be asking me because i would be meeting up while we on the move shout out to my little homie just got out after 10 years tj shout out tj and we'll be on the move but then i'll be like hey i need a break and stop and holler at my partner hand him some stuff and hey, what y'all doing like while i'm moving around with you doing what i'm doing he taking the products and putting them in the hood while i ain't in the hood you know what i mean so he always was uh interested in us giving back and reaching back to the the, the youth and giving them an opportunity. Man, I, I I just know that, man, when you look at what we're dealing with, it's just not no it's no normality to it. It's no. not normal, man. Um, I don't even I, I, I mean, when I when I look at like the family pictures after somebody, it's almost like when people pass away, and I hate to go back to this, but when people be passing away, right? It's like it's a celebrated next day that everybody they already know what to do, how to do it, and uh how to post. People post on people they never even supported before that for likes. This has become a big game, man, in a lot of ways. Some seriousness, but a lot of people just doing it for trending, right? Right. Uh, it's the conditioning of the uh, apps and, 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 and uh, virtual reality, you know what I mean? Uh, that's how it go. Uh, you're going to see celebrations and uh, remembrances for about two, three days if you really with somebody. You gonna get about a week or so, but if you was a half ass nobody, shit, you gonna get about twenty four hours, and they on to the next wow. thing. You know? Well, that's crazy, man. I, I, it's crazy, but it's definitely happening and it's definitely real. Yeah. Um, I, I'm and and the thing I, I want to ask you about also is the the Botany Boys thing. Like he was a pimp. Then was shout out to Botany Boys. Mm -hmm. uh, what happened to those guys? Um, the one. I think his name, Courtney, uh, I've always, you know, seen him around in Houston and whatnot, but I think he started a trucking company. Okay. Uh, but they definitely still in the mix, you know what I mean, handling business as bosses. Okay. Because every time I seen them in the streets, they was moving like boss street niggas, you know what I mean? So I'm pretty sure whatever they doing, they on top of their game. Okay. Well, yeah, you, you said trucking and, and, and show came to mind because he called me this morning. He was like, man, ask them. They know me. I'm like, man. They know you. You were just over here with Faze on Love the other day, nigga. Show? I, yeah. Man. I'm listen. like, how the hell you know them? He like, I say, you know Show? He's like, man. I mean, I say, he say, I say, you know he's a Leo? Yeah, he say he see me on the camera. Yeah, nigga, you was on the camera. You got in the way. I'm going to tell you the trillest shit. I used to work for Show. Really? He gave me a job. Wow. Show one of them real ones. Yeah. Wow. That's dope, man. And and that's something that where two brothers. Yeah. Can come together and make something happen. That's why I did it. Every every time we was talking, I was always reminding him of people saying, you know what I'm saying, brothers can't come together and make no shit happen. So I wanted us to be the example that we did that. And he gave me a lot of game on the trucking, you know what I mean? And, and, and day by day, 4 o'clock in the morning, we'd be on the phone, he'd be gaming me up. So he was one of the most influential people that gave me the game before I even got in the game. Plus, he gave me a job. So, hell yeah, that nigga, that was some trill, grown man yeah. shit. Full circle. Show, you got your shout out. You <laughs> asked me about it this morning, nigga. I ain't going to bullshit you. <laughs> well, I was going to shout him out, but that was a hell of a shout out. I you know? ain't lying. <laughs> <laughs> and here he go again. He like he really got something. Hey, we can't hardly hear you, bro. What you talking about? 
I got I got he's a Leo over here on the on, on we we here doing the show and you call in the middle of the show so evidently you want you want to holler at Heezy. <laughs> what boy. up, man? Chilly. <laughs> What's up with it? Okay, Pimp C Junior. Pimp C Junior. Ma. <laughs> huh? That's good. What you what y'all got going, That's man? Y'all cel- y'all doing that celebration? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us some uh, encouraging words on, on Pimp C, man. I, I I stick it in there with the rest. What 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 does Pimp C mean to you? Just a caller in or you say a caller in or the best the best ever is one of the best ever do it. You know that. Yeah, one of the, one of the best to ever do it. Yes, sir. What's your favorite Pimp C song? Oh, uh, UGK. Uh, the beginning, a pocket full of stones. Pocket full of stones. Man, that's an anthem. I ain't gonna lie to you. Go. I like I like pocket full of stones. That's a good. That's even that's way way back when we started out. So I have to go there. Well, what about uh, what about uh, uh knocking those down? That was the yeah. one when he, That was the one for me right there. That knocking those down you made know, niggas had to wake up. You know I love that man. You talk about that, but you know knocking those down a lot of. A lot of fellas came together from there, right there. And still together. A lot of people I'm talking before came back together, but uh like you say Flip and T I. They should you know, they need to do a song together. T I and Lil Flip. Yeah. Did did they Ray, uh, they haven't did it yet? They haven't done one together, but no, no. they need to do that. They need to. For yeah, sure, man. Real. You got a lot of back flat, a back scatter, man. I'm gonna let you yeah, go. Yeah, y'all go ahead and do that. All right, boy. All, All right, right. Really. love you, bro. So, uh, yeah, I'll add that to the other clip. Yeah, that's when we cool. were doing that. <laughs> that's cool, man. You gotta know how to add this stuff, man. You know, this YouTube thing is real serious, and man. They, and they call me Pimp C Junior. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a, somebody just a fan, see? All right, man. <laughs> All right, man. Check it. YouTube. No. Say, man, how can people get up? You know what? He and you know that's my brother, but he bigger than you, taller huh. than you, oh, I'm wider than weight. you. I'm losing right. weight. Where is he? <laughs> So, Shit, I just want to lip rouse and spit my. <laughs> <laughs> give give me a. a, a, a how can people get a hold of you? Get, shout that YouTube out, man. Yeah, man. Hey, man, I really appreciate the opportunity, man. Everything is at H E Z E L E O, and the website is triggear.biz, man. Holla at your boy, man. Let's get it popping, man, on hey, everything, man. man. Hey, hey man. don't be hitting me on no bullshit. So, so, you think I'm going to be able to get you on here and back? Come back through this business and roller skate. <laughs> We gonna go. We gonna go viral. We gonna get it popping. In you this seen my, my little viral moment in here? We had a hell of a moment what in here. Happened? A couple of man. It was the OGs cutting up with Mr. Williams. You know, uh, Mr. White, uh, uh, the OGs. You didn't see that? Oh, you talking about? Uh, yeah, Charleston and, and, yeah, yeah, and, and, and the Bloods and the, and the Crips, huh? Yeah, you said, man, dang, what the heck? Uh, eat them put together up there? <laughs> nah, fuck it, man. Shit, rise to the top. <laughs> you know what I mean, go, man, go. Shit, I'm with it. I'm with it. Say, man, hey, man. Hey, how do you feel though that he be going uh, against pimp sometime? How you feel about that? <sighs> I look at the character. I don't. I don't look the same thing. Me and you talked about earlier. Yeah. The internet. There's not only. There's a few things. Everything somebody say, I don't agree with. So exactly. I can interview anybody, but I don't agree with every single thing. Everybody. You don't either. No. No human, respectfully, uh, nobody agrees with everybody. No. I get it. I get it. Okay. Mm-hmm. So definitely, man. Thank you for coming on the show. Huh? It's over already, man. Right? If it be over, bro, nigga don't get no turkey for Christmas. Now. Look here, man. <laughs> it's been another great segment of Damn. Boss Talk One Hundred and One, where the bosses talk. No, I'm talking about.